Now, if you're new to Madden 23 and you don't know about coaching adjustments, you need to. It is one of the most important aspects of the game that you could be using, and it's going to improve your game dramatically once you understand how it works. Now, before we get into it, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, become members. You want access to the Why Off Trio Week full scheme breakdown. It's already out right now. At the time of this video, that video is already out for members. It is very detailed. It goes into everything that I've been using in Why Off Trio Week for years, and it cooks a lot of the meta stuff that's out right now. I know there's probably the best Madden player that's out right now is using this formation. And I've seen one of the best Madden players use the tips that I use against the meta defense. So it's all in there, man, for you guys to check out members. It is out. If you haven't seen the post, it is in there. Okay, so coaching adjustments. What are they? Things that help you as far as your defense and offense goes, okay? So the first thing you're gonna see when you open the coaching adjustments is your auto defensive play call. Now you can have this to on, or off now on the CPU will flip your defensive play to best match the offensive formation now this is very important if you're running cover three defense because the middle third in a cover three will align itself properly okay to the side to the strong side of the field if you don't put this on on with cover three you're gonna manually have to do it and you don't want to do that so for your best bet if you're newer to Madden you have no idea what's going on you want to leave this on on okay now, if you're setting up blitzes and you want the same look, you want to turn this to off because you want the same look. You want the same alignment and the same setup. So you turn that off, which brings us to our alignment. See, that's the next part. Default, the defenders will align according to their default alignment. So as they match with this on, your defense is going to align properly to the receivers that they face. So when man, the man guys will man up right in front of the receivers where they're supposed to, no matter where they're lined up. Okay, so a default. Now, you can set this to base, and the defenders will align according to their base formation position. So let me show you what I mean. You see this cover four right here? If you notice, let's come into a formation. Look at the nickel three three. You see all these dots right here? That's a base look, okay? Now, when they come out in formation, like say you say LB Blitz 2, if they're running a tight formation, everybody's gonna come crunched into the middle of the field, all right? So remember that, base. The base look is going to be the way it looks right here with the little circles. That's how it's always going to look in a base formation. In man, they're gonna land Matt, they're gonna align up like in man defense. Okay. So let me show you what I mean. Let's turn this to off and then let me pick up a LB Blitz one and then let's go ahead and pick Saints curls. I want you to pay attention to these guys. Okay. You can press just to make it look easier, but you'll see that these guys are lined up in man they're right in front of the receivers this guy's right in the front of the receiver to the right and then the outside guy is not so the b guy is not we want to press him to well he's actually not pressing so it's kind of just glitched out he's not pressing but you'll see that they're lined up right in front of the receivers and that's the way it is in man defense however if you're running zone you can make it look like men okay so let's just say i pick a cover three by leaving it on or or cover yeah let's pick cover three and then we pick saints curls now look at the alignment okay everybody's lined up in a zone uh this guy's backed off too it's kind of like the men kind of right cover three cover one uh kind of share the same idea with this guy in the back however uh it looks that way now you can run a zone defense with a man alignment to make it look like you're running man defense to throw your opponent off so you can come to man to where it looks like they're in man coverage right pick cover three again where are we at cover three drop and then select this again boom okay now it still looks like cover three i should have probably picked cover two bro that, that's kind of messed up on my part i should have did that let's pick cover two drop and then let's mana line okay so mana line it's cover two these guys will be in front like it's mad defense and you can press like it's mad defense so they will press like they're in mad defense so it, it's just a game buggy i'm telling you madden 23 it's it needs a title update and that's coming soon so that's that right there as far as that adjustment Next is your ball and air defense. You can have it on balance where AI players will play based on their ball in the air trait. Then you have play ball. AI will play the ball in two man catch situations. Uh, you gotta be careful because if you're playing mad defense, you will people will go for interceptions and miss it and then the receiver will just score a touchdown. Play receiver will play the receiver in two man catch situations. And then you have the swap ball, which I recommend if you're running mad defense to use the swap ball. So your AI just swats the ball and the chances of them preventing a touchdown or a catch are likely. So if you have acrobats on ultimate team, swap ball is going to be the thing that you use. And in late game situations where you need to run three deep, that's what, that's what you do, okay? You run swap ball. Cornerback matchup, this is key. 
because you have to understand where you are at on the field and what you're running. If you're running zone, I would recommend running balance. If you're running man, I would recommend by speed. The faster, fastest cornerbacks will match up versus the fastest wide receiver. And then you have by height. So if you're in the red zone and you need height because there's a receiver that's taller than yours, and trust me, ag catches are a thing in Madden 23. So if you have a short corner on a tall receiver, the chances are the tall receiver is going to cook you. So in the red zone, you're running man defense. You want to put this to height or even zone defense. Put this to height, okay, in the red zone. Uh, and then you can do by route running if you want. I don't really use those or by depth chart. I only use balance, speed, and height. Those are the three that I use. Option defense, if I see a quarterback running an option play where he keeps the ball and fake hands off, I automatically put this to conservative and I don't ever take it off again. So if you're running against a Kyler Murray, a Josh Allen, someone who's doing option plays, I put this to conservative and it just stays on there the rest of the game. My opponent's not going to want to run that no more. Now, strip ball, I haven't really used it this year. Uh, never really used it last year because there, there are chances that they break for tackles. However, if you're facing someone like a Derrick Henry and you have no choice, you're facing a Bo Jackson, you have no choice, right? Uh, you could go for strip balls. If you need turnovers, you could put this to aggressive. But look at the look at the penalties you get. Higher chance of broken tackles and face mass penalty, which you're probably going to get. Uh, and then the conservative is AI will not attempt to strip, but uh, they may tackle the, the, the running back a lot better. So you can put this on conservative for better tackling against the run game. And then that brings us to tackling. So aggressive, tackling aggressive. Say you need a turnover. Boom, you put that to aggressive, especially in the red zone. You can do that as well. Or conservative where they won't and they'll just try to go for a safe tackle and you can leave it on balance. So red zone aggress or turnovers aggressive. Anything else you can put a conservative or just leave it on balance. Now, the most important aspects of this whole damn video are your zone drops, flats, okay? You're gonna have uh, curl flats. Well, actually curl flats has their own, but you're gonna have clouds, soft squats, and hard flats, all right? You can tell these guys, you can override whatever the defense is putting out there from a defensive play and tell your corners where you want them to go. You want them to go five yards back. You want them to go 10 yards back. You want them to go 15 all the way up to 30, okay? Leaving them on default just puts them, like if you shade over the top, it'll tell your corners to back up five yards and then drop. You shade underneath, it'll tell them to drop five yards and then back up, okay? So that's how it works. Typically, maybe sometimes 10 yards, depending if you're doing it to a soft squat, they'll go like 10, 15 yards back. Uh, but for the most part, anything else that's like a cloud or hard flat is five yards up or down, okay? But you can set these to 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, typically, when I run mad defense, I'll start at 15. If I'm running zone defense, I'll start at 5. If I'm running a cover four drop, I start at 5. And then if they need 10 yards, I'll put it at 10. If they need 15, put it at 15, okay? Late game situations, it's like 20, 25. All right, so we can leave it here. Curl flat, same thing. Some people like to run what they call Mabel's. They'll run a five-yard flat. In a fifth or you know what a five yard curl flat and a 20 yard cloud flat so you run a mabel where you have on one side of the field you'll have a defender running five yards down and then another defender on the edge of the field running 20. let me go ahead and just show you what what that looks like so let's just pick cover three drop let's pick a play okay and then i will go ahead and put this guy i'll shade down shade up now i have a cloud flat and i put this guy on a curl flat okay so you'll see on the right side of my screen what they're going to do. My guy's frozen. <laughs> this game's I'm sorry, man. All right. I apologize on behalf of EA. All right. Let me let's just do this again. I apologize on behalf of EA Sports, bro. It's not my fault. It's not my intentions. <laughs> but let me just show you what it's supposed to do. All right, there it goes. Perfect. That's what we want. So anything to the right side of the field should be locked down. However, the zones are bad right now. That's why a lot of people are running man defense. But if you go into instant replay, okay. You'll see what I mean. You have the five yards and you have the 15 to 20 yards all on the right side of the field. And this is how you, what they call, this is how you stop what they call flood concepts, right? A high low read. So you can prevent all that. However, the zone reactions are horrible. There was really no other reason for them not to break to the run, but they waited too damn long. And that's just the name of the game. Okay, so that's uh, for that. Let's talk about the hooks. You can actually, the, the yellow sitting in the middle of the field, you can do the same thing with them. So you can go hooks at like 10, five, and that just means the middle of the field. Let me show you what I mean. You see the yellows on this cover two drop? You could tell them to play five yards down, 10 yards, or you could put them to zero. Don't, don't forget, you also have zero. 
And zero is typically for if you want to spy a quarterback or try to keep someone from someone rolling out. However, with Madden 23, you're not really going to have that problem this year. So you can play around with the 10 to 15 right here on your hook curls. Or if it's a lot of yards, 25, 30, depending on the situation or the scenario that you're in. Zone coverage. Um, if you're running a match, cover three. You want to put this on match any kind of match defense you want to put it on match okay so the zone defenders read the routes of the receivers to determine coverage responsibilities so you can do that now you get cooked if you're running running match and you're running a cover two and they decide to man up stuff and now you don't have nobody in your cloud so i would only you put this on match if you're gonna be running cover three match so they do it properly because zones are bad already in this game and then for offense can i access this Deep pass catching, I leave it alone. Intermediate pass catching, I leave it alone. Blocking, leave it alone. So for the past years, these have been no good. But for ball carry, if you don't want to fumble the ball, conservative. If you're in the red zone and you need a touchdown, you need to score from like the goal line, you can put this to aggressive. Now remember, you do get increased fumble chances, uh, so be careful. And you also have a higher chance of triggering out, uh, out auto break tackles, I'm sorry. You have that as well. So those are the adjustments, man. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I will be updating this once a month. In case things change, I will bring it to you guys. So stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you subscribe and check out the offensive defensive scheme that are going to be in the member section. The offense is already there. The defense will be coming. Love you guys.